face powder in a seashell, mascara in a magic wand, and seaweed brushes? Today, we will take a look at Mermaid and Fairy's makeup bags. Let's see who will be the winner of this makeup competition. Mermaid is dolling up at her sea vanity table as usual. She has a lot of friends. A pair of old ducks always makes her laugh. And her loyal Jean-Pierre. He doesn't want to turn into a prince, no matter how hard Mermaid tries. A call from the magic mirror disturbs her peace and quiet. It's her friend Fairy calling. Fairy suggests arranging a makeup battle. Let's make this boring day fun and see whose makeup collection is better. Mermaid takes a big pearl out of the chest. It's definitely a beauty gift from the ocean. Melt makeup wax. Add white food pearl powder and white food glitter. Mix it. Turn over an EOS container and pour the mixture inside. Let it freeze. Scratch a seashell on the lip gloss when it hardens. Deepen the picture. Melt a pink crayon in a microwave and pour it into the scratched picture on the lip balm. Let it harden. Attach the contour and scratch out some details. Cover the EOS container with pearl acrylic paint. The lip balm glows like a precious pearl. Mermaid is used to sea jewelry. She applies the pearl EOS to her lips. Now she is ready for the challenge. Fairy is touching up before leaving. She has a magic ring in her makeup bag. Melt makeup wax. Add blue, gold, and white food glitter to it. Mix it. Pour the lip balm into a container and put it into a fridge. Hot glue the EOS onto a ring blank. Color it with acrylic paints first. Then cover it with clear acrylic paint. Add some shine with glitter. This ring is magical. It can turn any girl into a beauty. Fairies know some magical recipes. A bit of EOS magic dust is enough and Fairy is ready to go to the beauty challenge. Mermaid is waiting for the start of the competition. She even comes out of the sea to participate. Mermaid is not used to such bright sun rays. Thank goodness she found sunglasses under the water. Makeup chest, let's get ready for the challenge. Fairy comes up to the stage too. She has a magic makeup bag and she is ready for the competition. Let's see whose makeup is better. The makeup battle starts now. Mermaid takes out her eyeshadow. What an amazing collection of twinkling starfish. Mix broken eyeshadow with makeup primer. Put it into a pot. Compact it with a Q-tip. Cut one side off of a 3D foam plastic star and hot glue it to the cap of the pot. Add dots with hot glue so that it looks like a real starfish and cover it with acrylic paint. Coat the pot with pearl paint and add twinkling details on the starfish. Make a few colors of eyeshadow. This eyeshadow shines bright even under the water. Mermaid knows how to do her makeup for an underwater photo shoot. And here she comes, the real star of the social seas. And Fairy has her own kind of magic. Her eyeshadow looks like magic dust for beauty rituals. Put old eyeshadow into a container, crumble it thoroughly, put it into a small bottle, and close with a cork. Fill bottles with different shapes with a few eyeshadow colors. Tie the bottle with colored rope and attach butterfly decor to the ends. Fairy applies the magic dust to her eyes and her look becomes magical and mesmerizing. This style will thrill all the elves in the world at once. Fairy wins this round. Her secret spells bring her one point. The score is one to zero. What a delight! Fairy feels like she's on top of the world, and Mermaid is definitely upset about her loss in this round. But it's alright, she can still win. Mermaid is ready for round two. She has a new catch. It's coral, but only Mermaid can apply coral to her eyelashes. 
Cut a hot glue stick at an angle so that you get a few pieces. And hot glue them onto a mascara tube like branches. Make the mascara more voluminous with hot glue so that it looks like a sea coral. Cover it with acrylic paint. Lightly dip a brush into water and apply pearl paint with it. Coral mascara sells like hotcakes in the Pacific Ocean. If fish had eyelashes, they would definitely use only this mascara. And Mermaid has all the coral stock. Fairy doesn't leave home without her magic wand. Of course! Because there is mascara hidden inside. Cut a star out of extruded polystyrene foam. Cut off the sides. Apply glue and sprinkle all over it with glitter. Attach glittering tape to a cylindrical mascara tube. Hot glue the star to the mascara. You can't do your makeup without a magic wand, because applying mascara to your lashes and not messing up your upper lid is the highest level of sorcery. Fairy nails this challenge, but underwater waterproof mascara wins. One point goes to Mermaid. The score is one to one. Mermaid wins this battle, which makes her feel like she's on cloud nine. And Fairy is upset about her loss. She was looking forward to getting this point. Mermaid loves the sea because she can make makeup products with whatever she has on hand. For example, a seashell. Coat big flat seashells with acrylic paint. Add a layer of pearl paint on top. Attach a silicone glue stick along the perimeter of a powder compact cap and hot glue it to the seashell. Attach the other seashell to the bottom of the powder compact. Cover the free space with hot glue. Coat the inside of the seashell with pearl paint. Decorate it with pearl half beads outside. A seashell powder compact is the trendiest underwater accessory, according to the Channel Marine TV. Ocean style is today's hottest trend. Fairy has a superpower. She sees beauty in regular things. For example, these magic crystals were hiding among flowers, and face powder was hiding in the crystals. Prime a face powder compact with white acrylic paint. Coat it with acrylic paints using a sponge and add a coat of pearl paint on top. Cut wide hot glue sticks into pieces. Shape them into crystals. Coat them with acrylic paint. You need one layer of regular and one layer of pearl paint. Hot glue the crystals to the cap. Cut a hot glue stick into small pieces and cover the free space with little pieces of crystals. Cover them with pearl paint and add a layer of clear nail polish. Sprinkle with glitter. These crystals can make your skin tone even. They have the same effect as face powder. Fairy and her magical crystal face powder wins this round. Mermaid one, Fairy two. Mermaid is outraged. It's not fair. I'll show you what I'm capable of. Fairy celebrates her victory in another round. The final thing we need to apply our makeup is brushes. Magical Mermaid created her own brushes from seaweed. Take a broken brush. Cut a long leaf out of a green foam rubber sheet. Hot glue a wire inside. Hot glue the top of the brush to the other end. Bend the edges of the foam rubber sheet and twist the wire to make it look like seaweed. Make a brush set from different shades of green foam rubber sheets. A famous mermaid tradition is applying makeup with seaweed. Mermaid's grandma, Old Cuttlefish, used to do that. Eco-friendly products are popular now, too. Fairy's brushes should be as light as feathers. Hot glue a colored feather to a makeup brush. Make a few feather brushes of different colors. A phoenix feather brush can fix any makeup and it will look simply fantastic. But feathers were used for writing a long time ago, and only mermaids were using seaweed as brushes. Mermaid gets one more point for being creative and loyal to family traditions. Now the score is tied. Friends can't compete against each other for very long. They have nothing to conquer anyways, because Fairy is still the queen of the shore, and Mermaid is the queen of the sea. It's just a friendly match.
Did you like our makeup battle? Then write in the comments who you were cheering for, mermaid or fairy. And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new challenges on Troom Troom.